Hi, welcome to this example on hypothesis testing for the binomial distribution. And in this example, what I'm going to look at is finding a critical value in the upper tail of the distribution. Now to do that, I've got an example up here. We've got a particular drug has a 1 in 4 chance of curing a certain disease. And a new drug is developed to cure the disease. How many people would need to be cured in a sample of 20 if the new drug was deemed to be more successful at curing the disease than the old drug to obtain a significant result at the 5% level? Well, what we've got here is essentially a binomial model if we assume that the probability of someone being cured by the disease remains constant and probabilities are independent. So first of all I need to define a random variable and we'll say let x be the random variable number of people who are cured by the new drug where x is distributed binomially and number of trials is 20 and the probability that someone's cured by the new drug is p. Well, if there is no change in the proportion of people being cured by the disease, we'll have that as our null hypothesis, HO, that essentially the proportion P remains at a quarter. Now, if that is the case, we will assume then that, I will just write this down, assume that HO is true. And if HO is true, then the number of people being cured by the new drug, X, is going to be binomially distributed, 20 trials, and the probability of success, P, would be a quarter. And we would expect, in this situation, there to be a quarter of 20 people being cured by the new drug, which is 5 people. And if we want this drug to be more successful, we want the alternative hypothesis that H1P is greater than a quarter. And so what we would be doing normally would be to reject HO if the probability that the number of people being cured by the drug is greater than or equal to some particular value, which we're going to call xc. This is called a critical value. And that probability has got to be less than or equal to the nominal significance level here of 5%. So we'll just write that in as being less than or equal to the significance level of 5%. As a decimal, 0.05. Okay, so let's see if we can work this out for that critical value xc. Well, if we had to work out the probability that x was greater than or equal to a particular value, it's much easier to do 1 minus the probability of it being less than or equal to 1 value less than this. Okay, in other words, 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to that critical value, minus 1. Alright? I mean, for instance, if that critical value were 7, say, then the probability x is greater than or equal to 7 would be the same as 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 6. So I'd have to subtract 1 from the value 7. Okay, so... That's why I've subtracted 1 from the critical value. So this is the probability x is greater than or equal to the critical value, xc. And it's got to be less than or equal to 0.05. Now if I rearrange this inequality, if I was to add this probability to both sides and at the same time subtract 0.05 from both sides, what I'd have is 1 minus 0.05, which would be 
nine five and that would be less than or equal to the probability that x is less than or equal to that critical value minus one and so therefore if I rearrange this I've got that the probability that x is less than or equal to the critical value minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 0.95. Now in order to work out what this is I need to look at cumulative binomial probability tables that give us the probability of being less than or equal to a particular value. Now I've got an extract from a set of tables here where we've got P equals 0.25 a quarter, N number of trials is 20 and down here we've got the probabilities of being less than or equal to a particular value. So we're looking for the probability of being more than or equal to 0.95. So as we come down here, we can see that at 8, the probability of being less than or equal to 8 is 0 0.8867. But as soon as we get to 9, the probability of being less than or equal to 9 is 0 0.9520, which is the first value that is greater than or equal to 0 0.95. So I'll be looking at this particular value here. So we can see that the critical value xc minus 1 has to be 9 or more. So we can write that down here that therefore xc minus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 9. And so that means that the critical value xc has to be greater than or equal to 9 add 1 which is 10. So what does this mean? Well it means that 10 or more people are required to be cured to obtain significant evidence that the new drug is an improvement on curing the disease. So that brings us now to the end of this particular example and uh, hopefully been able to follow that.